Global players, it's finally happening guys. With the release of update 4.6.1 in a couple days, we will finally be getting the brand new summoning animations that JP has had to themselves for about two months now and I can't freaking wait guys. I've been looking forward to this day since about two months ago, pretty much ever since JP got them. I've been like looking forward to the day that Global gets them as well. And now this day is very, very close. It's almost here and I am just super, super excited about it. Hope you guys are excited too. Now in a second, we are gonna pop over to the Dokkan Wiki and take a look at all the new animations and talk about what they mean. But first things first, let's actually jump into the news here and uh, see what else this update has to offer. I mean, there's some pretty cool stuff. None of it really compares to the animations, but I feel like it's still important to talk about. So here we go. So it says update 4.6.1 will be released soon. Here is the first hand information on the new features. Number one, simplified the process to sell Hercule statues. Tap the select Hercule statues button to sell multiple Hercule statues at once. And the limit is 99 Hercule statues can be sold at once. So essentially they're adding a new select Hercule statues button that allows you to select all the Hercule statues currently in your inventory and uh, sell them all at one time. So let's say you are doing a lot of Extreme Z battle stages or a lot of friend summons and you wanna sell all of your Hercule statues at once. Um, this will save you quite a bit of time, you know, a couple seconds here and there, which can add up to minutes and maybe even hours, depending on how long you play this game for. Um, I do wish there was also a separate button or maybe some kind of filter where we can select like all N units or all R units, that'd be kind of nice too, but this is definitely a step in the right direction, so I don't mind it. And uh, that's the first thing. So next up, number two, we have optimized the growth menu. You will be able to access the reverse and reverse token awakening pages directly from the growth menu. The procedure for raising characters will be even smoother. So as you can see from this image here, you can click on the growth tab. And there's two new features added or two new options added, the reverse option and the reverse Dokkan Awakening option. So instead of having to go back to the menu and select reverse or reverse Dokkan Awakening, you can now directly do that from the growth tab above the character art, which is really, really nice. And it does save you uh, quite a bit of time doing it this way as opposed to the old way. And uh, just another feature that will make it a little bit less painful to be a Dokkan player, which I don't mind at all. So that's pretty cool. That's number two. And at number three, we have an optimized Baba shop. You will now be able to switch between different treasures by swiping left or right under the treasures tab at the Baba shop. So honestly, this was not something that I knew we needed or even knew was not a thing prior to the update on JP. Um, I always just kind of assumed we could swipe between the pages or between the screens, but apparently that wasn't a thing. Bandai thought that this was an important thing to add, so here it is. And uh, okay, moving on. Number four, we have added certain summon animations, which is obviously the highlight of this update. New animations will be added to the process of performing summon. So the funny thing is, this is, I think, objectively the most hype part of this update, but it's actually really easy to miss because they don't include any pictures with it. It's just like a tiny little like line um, in the game files or in the news, right? And it's actually really, really easy to miss if you don't pay attention. So I just thought it was interesting that the biggest part of the update is so low key in the uh, news release, but it's fine. We know about it. We're gonna focus more on it in just a second. All right. And uh, I think the last thing here is adding the uh, tag function to Ultimate Clash. So now if you want to, you can use the tag function in Ultimate Clash to better organize your characters and teams for the different boss fights. So uh, that could definitely be very helpful to some people. I can see that. And that's it guys. Those are all the new features um, that are coming with update 4.6.1 on global. But now let's move on to or focus on the thing that you guys all came to see, which are the brand new animations. So let's pop over to the Dokkan Wiki here 
and see what's going on. So first things first, on top we have a new double screen crack, the Puff Puff animation, and the description says Puff Puff is a rare animation that functions similarly to the panties off a hot babe animation, the oolong double screen crack, and it guarantees an LR or a Dokkan festival character. So essentially exactly the same as the old double screen crack, it's just a different image and uh, for non Dokkan Fest banners it gives you a LR and for Dokkan Fest banners it's a guaranteed Dokkan Festival character. And next up is just a bit of an update to the regular summoning background where we have uh, some lightning and stuff like that and it says this background is an updated version of the summon background so not super exciting there but it is a thing. Now next up is a very exciting screen if you do get it and it's the uh, Rose Dimension, Rose Rift. I still don't really know like if we have an established name for it but what it means is that uh, you will be getting a new character. So a newly released LR or newly released Dokkan Festival character is guaranteed if the sky is of a blue-green color with a portal created from Goku Black's Scythe of Sorrow. So, for example, if you're summoning on, let's say, the new STR Cooler banner, right? Then if you get this animation, if you get this screen, you are guaranteed the brand new STR Cooler. And if you're summoning on a new Legendary Summon banner, let's say the LR Kale and Khalifla banner, finally come to global, then if you get this animation, then you are guaranteed LR Kale and Khalifla. Not just any LR, not just any Dokkan Festival character, but the new LR or the new Dokkan Festival character, which is just the highest level of hype, right? Like when you're summoning on a banner going for that specific character, if you get this animation, you know you got it, which uh, I just love. So can't wait to hopefully see some of that or see a few of these screens in my own personal summons in the future, but I probably shouldn't have said that because now I will never see it. Okay, next up is a few combinations. So we have some new characters that were added to um, the you know host of people that can fly in with Goku. There's like Beerus, there's Whis, there's uh, Android 17 and 18, there's um, Future Trunks, there is um, you know what, I can't remember all the new characters, but there's quite a few new characters, alright? So, as far as combinations go, if you get Krillin and Andrew at 18, that indicates either an LR or a featured SSR character. Android 17 and 18 can mean the same thing, but it can also mean three or more SSR characters. And uh, unlike previous combinations, these will work even if they appear alongside other characters. So, with the old batch, of summoning animations, uh, you can only get um, Gohan and Piccolo if you're getting that combination, or you can only get... Um, <laughs> what are some other old combinations, man? It's late, my brain's not working. Oh, uh, Goten and Trunks, for example. If you got Goten and Trunks, you can't get any other characters flying in as well, right? But for these combinations, as you can see from this image, even if there are other characters joining in with your Android 17 and 18, that combination of those two characters still counts. So that's something to note. And next up, we have the uh, Trunks carrying my or whatever you want to call it. As you can see right here, it's basically the future Trunks carrying Mai in his arms, and this guarantees an LR or Dokkan Festival character, essentially working exactly the same as a Hercule on Boo, except with uh, Trunks and Mai. And the next one is a super, super exciting one as well, because it has the same meaning, as far as I'm aware, as the uh, Rose Dimension, Rose Rift animation. So the way this one works is if Beerus and or Whis are flying alongside Goku before the Kamehameha Blast, there is a chance for Whis to do a time rewind. So just to be clear, you don't need both of them to fly in at the same time. All right? If you have just Whis or just Beerus flying in, there is a chance for this animation to occur. But if you have both Beerus and Whis flying in, then the animation is guaranteed. All right, so Whis does a time rewind, which reverses the animation to before the blast, and then plays the Vegito Blue animation, which guarantees a newly released LR or Dokkan Festival character. So keyword here, of course, is newly released 
just like the Rose animation. And if you're summoning on the new, you know, Super Saiyan God Goku, LR Super Saiyan God Goku banner, then you're guaranteed the new LR Super Saiyan God Goku. If you're summoning on the new Fizz Piccolo banner on Global, then you're guaranteed the new Fizz Piccolo. So another super, super hype animation that I most likely will not see a lot of, but uh, it's cool to have. Okay, now this one on the surface looks like just a regular Patara Fusion or regular Super Vegito animation. But if you pay close attention, you'll notice that the text is gold, right? And what this means is that every single time you get this gold text, you're guaranteed a Patara Fusion regardless of whether or not Vegeta actually flew in, which really threw me off when I first started summoning on JP after their animation update, because I was like, why am I getting a Patara fusion when it was just Tien and Chiaotu that flew in, or Boo and Gohan, or any random combination of characters. Essentially, no matter who flies in now, as long as you get the gold text, you will be getting a Patara fusion. And of course, the Super Vegito means the same thing as before, which is a Dokkan Fest character on a Dokkan Fest banner or a LR on a non Dokkan Fest banner. So that's the gold text animation right there. And moving on, we have the Zeno animation. The Zeno can appear on the top of the screen after pulling the text. So essentially, you're pulling down, the Zeno will be popping up out of the top of your screen. And when that happens, you know you're getting a newly released LR or Dokkan Festival character, exact same meaning as the Rose Rift and the uh, Whis Time Rewind. So these three animations, I would say, are the three most hype animations you can possibly get in the game now. And uh, yeah, they're obviously animations you want to get, but don't expect to see them too often because they're very very rare from my experience. Okay, moving on. We have the anniversary screens for the Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3 Gokus. So instead of the usual Super Saiyan animations we're used to, there's a chance for the arts of the Goku cards released during the anniversaries to appear in their place, holding up the one finger, two fingers, and three fingers. And they're always followed by the Super Saiyan God animation, which guarantees at least three SSR. So if you see at least one of these screens, the anniversary Gokus, then you know that a Super Saiyan God animation is coming as well. And uh, even though Super Saiyan God was never a super hype animation for me, uh, I do gotta admit that these anniversary screens look really nice, so that's a thing. And next up we have the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken animation, and after the new batch of animations came out, there was a lot of speculation, once again, about what it meant. And uh, as it turns out, it still means nothing, because it still does not exist in the game, As I mean, at least when these new animations came out on JP, maybe they want to surprise us and give us this animation in-game for global when we get the new batch of animations, but I really, really doubt it. So most likely, Super Saiyan Blue Kalkin is still in the game, but still, well, or still in the game files, but still not an animation you can get yet. And uh, people are still gonna speculate. So for now, all I will say is that the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken animation is still to be released, to be announced, to be determined. And uh, I will let you guys know in a future video as soon as that happens. And last but not least, we have the lingering Kamehameha animation which is kind of easy to miss sometimes because it's really not that different from the regular Kamehameha except for the fact that it lasts for about two to three, maybe even four times longer than normal. So if you're really just like not paying super close attention, you might miss that extended period of time that it's flying in the air, but um, it does last quite a bit longer than your regular Kamehameha. As you can see, it flies in the air for about two to three seconds before making uh, contact. And when you see that, you are guaranteed an LR on a non Dokkan Fest banner or a Dokkan Festival character on a Dokkan Fest banner. And that is the lingering or extended Kamehameha. And those are all the new animations that we currently know about, guys. And hopefully you guys found this video helpful in some way. Update 4.6.1 is officially coming to global 
bring with it these new animations that we just went through, as well as a few other pretty useful quality of life updates. So uh, yeah guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Get hyped for those new animations, possibly also a little mini celebration for that too, since the last time Global got new animations, we also had like this new special summoning animation banner with some tickets and stuff like that. So maybe they'll do that again, maybe not. We'll have to wait and see. But either way, that is update 4.6.1. It's a big one, guys. I can't freaking wait. I don't know how many times I've said that, but it's 100% true. And uh, that's it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked today's video, if you learned something from it, then make sure to like, the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time i hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out